On this Veterans Day, we take the time to thank the men and women who've served in the armed forces. And for some veterans, mental health has been feeling like their next battlefield. But over the years, local resources and advocates have been growing that support to give veterans the mental health care they need. Our Brooke Chow shares one veteran story of support. Even after leaving that physical battlefront, those leaving the military also have to fight the emotional one. I sat down with two local veterans at Cottonwood Tucson, which is a behavioral treatment center about their road to recovery and the hope that they have for veterans going through what they did. You know, I went in 18 and healthy and came out a 24 year old drug addict. Taylor was in the army for six years before the VA had him get help for his drug addiction. Cottonwood Tucson was his 13th treatment center. Today, Taylor is nearly seven months sober and is now giving back to veterans at Cottonwood Tucson who are walking in the same path that he once did. It's a it's a good reminder of where I was. And then, you know, just like my one goal is if I can just help one patient, give them courage, strength and hope. That's all I want to do. In Taylor's program at Cottonwood, he met with a therapist who is also a veteran. Speaking with them about their trauma and their events is a uh, Kids person. Their connection saved his life. I can relate to it. I understand their circumstances or situations, so it's easy to create a, a good bonding relationship with them. This Veterans Day and every day, Taylor hopes to spread his message on seeking help after the service. I, I was always taught in the military to, you know, hide your emotions. You know, you got to be strong. You're a man. But, um, I would say the best thing I ever did was, you know, ask for help. Just like Jesse and Taylor, thousands of veterans here in the Old Pueblo all have a story to share. In downtown Tucson, Brooke Chow, Kega 9 on your side. A thank you to Brooke there and many centers like Cottonwood are doing important work to help veterans. They are a group that suffers from mental health problems at a higher rate than the general population. We're looking at some statistics from the VA and the numbers show one in three U.S. veterans has reported some symptom of depression. One in five have serious symptoms that would likely require more testing, while one in eight veterans have suffered from major depression that needs treatment via therapy or medication. Veterans also feel a disproportionate share of post-traumatic stress disorder cases. Based off estimates from the National Center for PTSD, 11 to 20 percent of veterans who served in the Iraq War reported a relevant symptom. Around 12 percent of those in the Gulf War fell in this group. Nearly 30 percent of people deployed in the Vietnam War would have also counted as showing these symptoms. Some better news to apply for people who are living with anxiety. Americans dealing with the condition may be able to treat it without having to go to a prescription medication. This is according to a study published Wednesday in the JAMA Psychiatry Trusted Source Journal. They say mindfulness-based cognitive therapy and mindfulness-based stress reduction appear to be beneficial when it comes to issues like depression, at least. The findings are based on a review of data collected last year from nearly 300 people in one clinical trial, though the writers say there are some limitations to the research. Recruitment only happened in three medical centers to speak of, and most of the participants were women. Researchers say they don't know why mindfulness exactly appears to help lower anxiety. On the inflation front, it seemed to have cooled more than expected in October, which means Yes, prices we pay for everyday items are still high, but the increase itself is slowing. The news did ignite new hopes that the Federal Reserve's interest rate hike increases may now be in the rearview mirror. Though analysts say they still have some causes for concern about the timing of real relief. The bottom line is, you know, we, we need to see a sustained moderation in inflation pressures. One in a row is not a streak. We need a long winning streak. The Fed would make its potential next rate hike decision when it meets December 14th.